The error message unfortunately, phone has stopped that seems to be bugging some owners of the Samsung Galaxy S10 actually means, that the phone app has stopped. Most of the time, this problem is only with the app but there are also times when it's a sign of a firmware issue. The best thing you can do about it is troubleshoot your phone, to determine what the problem really is and why it's happening. Hi, this is Felix from the CellGuide.com and in this video, I will teach you how to fix your Galaxy S10 that keeps showing phone has stopped error. First solution, force restart your phone. The first thing that you should do is force restart your phone. If this is just a minor issue with the firmware, then this problem can be fixed by this procedure. It's a simulated battery removal that will refresh your phone's memory, as well as reload all its apps and services if done correctly. Don't worry, none of your files or apps will be deleted if you did this. Here's how. Press and hold the volume down and power keys at the same time for 10 seconds or more or until the Galaxy S10 logo appears. Once your phone has successfully rebooted, try to open the app and see if the phone has stopped terror still shows up. If it still does, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, clear the cache and data of phone app. Now, this will reset the app back to its default settings and configuration. If this is an issue with the app itself, then this procedure will fix it and make it work perfectly again. Don't worry, none of your contacts will be deleted if you did this. Here's how. Go to the screen where the app icon is located. Tap and hold on the phone icon until options show. Tap app info. Touch storage. Tap clear cache. Now, tap clear data and touch OK to confirm. After the reboot, try to see if the phone has stopped terror still pops up when you open the app. If it still does, then try the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your phone. A factory reset will fix any software or app related issue, however, I don't usually suggest it without exhausting all possible solutions. At this point though, it seems that you have no other choice. So, create a backup of your important files because all of it will be deleted during the process. Follow these steps to factory reset your phone. Swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the settings icon. Find and tap general management. Touch reset. Tap factory data reset. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and tap reset. If prompted, enter your PIN, password or pattern. Finally, tap delete all. That's it, I hope this troubleshooting guide has been able to help you one way or the other. Please subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you can stay up to date with the cell guide. Thanks for watching.